Kenya's working in Middle East countries can now breathe a sigh of relief, with the government introducing measures to cushion Kenyans in the diaspora. Agencies involved in recruiting employees to work in Gulf states will now be required to be registered, licensed, and vetted afresh, according to East African Community Labor and Social Protection Cabinet Secretary Phyllis Kandie. The rules and regulations are meant to weed out unscrupulous agents. We want to, um, you know tell them that we will soon be um, making public those, um, those agents that uh, have been licensed by the ministry. I want to warn the public that please do not engage or um, don't allow your, your children to be sent by uh, agents that are not licensed because then we would not have vetted them. We don't know who they are. And, and, and we wouldn't be able to capture that data of uh, your children going to, 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 the, to, to these Middle Eastern countries. And therefore, we will not be, be able to support, um, you know, uh, these, these Kenyans who, 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 who are going to work um, in these countries. In the recent past, a number of cases have been reported of Kenyans recruited to work in foreign countries, especially in the Middle East, being subjected to inhuman working conditions and some even dying in unclear circumstances. Aka tukaanza kusikia anapigia sister yake simu anasema mahari alioko mahari anafanya kwenye hiyo nyumba si kusuri na watu wakae wakimuombea na alikuwa akisema tujaribu file atafika wakati tumrudishe na huku Kenya. To prevent further mistreatment, Kandia says the government will require host countries to sign agreements to protect rights of Kenyans working there. Is there is a backlog. Oh, that is, we don't know where. Like in Saudi Arabia, for example, we have, we have an average of 100,000 Kenyans. 70% are domestic, you know, unskilled. So it's difficult for us to really tell uh, where they are. But uh, we've had a discussion with uh, these, these agencies here. In future, first of all, we'll capture uh, the data in our database, share it to the data uh, chair uh, in that country, and number two is their business to know where they where they've sent the Kenyans, yeah, uh, because that's our first first place we will we will we will we will, we will, we will uh, the first question we'll ask them. In 2014, a blanket ban on the exportation of all types of labor was imposed following increased cases of Kenyan workers being mistreated in the Middle East. The ban was lifted early this year, enabling Kenyans with skills in accounting, hotel management, and secretarial to work in the Gulf states. Brenda Kiprano reporting for Channel One News Hour.